Welcome to the Daily Challenge for October 25th, 2014. Let's begin.
Ooh. I should not have bought that. I'm pretty sure the Ring of War gives me more damage, which I really need. Yep. Did I kill the mini boss? I did, didn't I? Nope. Alright, well, <laughs> nothing to worry about. Everything's good. Whew. Alright. I've got a lot of armor and I've got some cheese. And I know from experience, anyone who has armor and cheese is pretty well off. Hmm. Alright. Okay, I can do this. Dagger of Phasing. That's a weird one. It can do some really cool stuff, but I've never used it before.
Oh my, did I, I just realized, did I just beat the, I, I just, I just beat the video games. I just realized this is the first time I have ever actually gotten to, to the end. Oh my god. Yeah. I won. I I actually won. That's the first time I've ever fucking won, and it's it's on a run where I took one of the hugest risks ever. Okay, before I even talk more about it, let's see where I am on the scoreboard. Holy crap. <laughs> Number seven. Damn. I am proud as hell with myself. There is... Yeah, I, I just did damn good. There's no other way to say that. I am damn proud of how I did. Holy crap. So yeah, let's talk about that a bit. Um, whew, I need to calm down. I'm, I'm shaking with excitement, literally. <sighs> Take a breath. It's okay. <sighs> okay, so. <laughs> I did something pretty early on that I have never done before. And that is, I went to a blood shop, I think it's called. And I spent a heart and a half of health on a gold rapier. I've never done that before in a daily challenge. Because, well, obviously you have, you start out with two hearts of health, so spending really any of those hearts is almost suicide. Because you don't got a lot to spare. However, uh, I remember somebody in the comments for, I think it was a previous daily challenge, or maybe two challenges ago, they said that um, how a lot of people get these crazy high scores is by going to a blood shop and getting a golden weapon. And I was thinking, like, that's freaking insane, going through the entire game with a golden weapon. I mean, golden weapons just do standard damage. You know, they do the same damage as just a, a plain, plain weapon. So for most weapons, they're only going to do one point of damage. With the rapier being the obvious... Uh, exception to that, because if you hit them on the tip, it does two points of damage. So I thought, okay, you know, given that it can actually potentially do two points of damage, this isn't the worst weapon to go through the whole game with. So I went with it, which was really, really dangerous, because with only half a heart of health left, if I got hit by literally anything, I would die. No matter how small. Even if it was just a lowly bat, I would have died. But thankfully I managed to avoid getting hurt, and then I found the Ring of War which I believe increases your damage by one. Which means if I hit them on the tip of the rapier, I believe it does... Uh, actually, how much does it do? Is it before or after the multiplying of the damage by the rapier? In other words, does the Ring of War make your base damage two and your hit them on the tip damage four? Or does it make your base damage one and hit them on the tip... Or your base damage two and hit them on the tip three? Um, I'm not sure how it stacks. But regardless, that Ring of War gave me enough damage to actually be able to get through the shields of those black skeletons, which is very important. At least if I hit them on the tip, it does. And also, I believe the Ring of War, I think, also makes it so that more enemies spawn on each level. I'm pretty sure it does, which is actually very, very good for a golden weapon, because that means there's more things to kill, which means more gold. So yeah, that just, that just worked out really, really well. That worked out beautifully. I mean, really, I can't think of a better weapon to spend your hearts on, a better gold weapon to spend your hearts on than the Golden Rapier, because again, it can do two points, two points of damage, which is very important, and then adding the extra damage of the Ring of War, it just takes the cake. And then, of course, I got Chainmail Armor, and then I got some food, and then I got a helmet, which gave me an armor and a half of protection, and then allowed me to heal back up from the damage I had taken from buying the weapon. 
So yeah, that just worked out damn well. Really, I think the only thing I really majorly fucked up is just the, the buying of the uh, gold ring, which I didn't realize would replace my Ring of War at the time. And as much as the gold ring is very nice, of course, the extra damage of my rapier is very important, because I'm pretty sure without the extra damage, it would have been impossible for me to break through the shields of the black skeletons, which would have been very dangerous. Yeah, I think I just needed the extra damage. Yeah, holy crap! I, I took a major risk. It paid off extremely well. I'm really proud of how I did there, and for the first time ever, I actually beat all the zones in a daily challenge. I beat the video games! It's over! But I, I beat all the daily challenges, there's no reason to ever do them again. I win. I, I, I win. Okay, I guess I'll keep doing the daily challenges. If you say so. Person who I'm imagining is invisibly screaming at the screen to continue, or something. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still shaking with the excitement of that. God damn, that was good. Alright, well, that has been the wonderful daily challenge for October 25th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ooh, look at that. New character, new characters unlocked try Aria or Bolt for a greater challenge. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's because I simply beat Zone 3 again? Which I've actually already done before, or it's because I beat the Daily Challenge. It's probably because I beat the Daily Challenge.